Welcome to the boy show, man. Giving y'all another exclusive video. Giving y'all another one hell of a motherfucking show. Do y'all see this thing right here behind me? Do y'all? That thing right there is called a Ford Edge SUV. Titanium. EcoBoost. 4x4. Like, Ford have done an outstanding job with this SUV right here, man. Can y'all agree, man? Look at it. Come on now. 2019 Ford Edge Titanium EcoBoost. Silver. Nice little wheels on here. Let's check out the size real quick. These are 19s. 245, 55R 19s. Yep. Thing. Nice, man. So if you want to, man, <laughs> you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people look at this like, man, I get this boy and throw some damn 28s on this thing and have it right, right. I know I would. Got two pipes on each side. Thing nice, man. Titanium EcoBoost, all wheel drive. Come on now. Just press the button, that thing goes right on up. Check the back out. Now, it doesn't have a third row seat in this brand. They probably do have one out there with a third row seat. They probably don't have one at all. But here at Enterprise Rental Car, this brand, it only has two row seats. So it's a, uh, it's, it's, it seats five people, you know, and it's under a uh, premium SUV. Okay. Got this right here. That thing right there lets the seats down. <laughs> I didn't even know. I'm pressing. Oh, snap. So it lets both of them down. Let's see if it lift up. Let's press it. Oh, man. Nope, they don't let up. <laughs> I guess I... I was wondering what this was. I'm looking, I'm like, man, is it a third row seat? Like, no, it's not a third row seat. Let's close that. This ain't got a button. Oh, you know what? Hold up. Let me show y'all something else. Since y'all want to know or prove that this is a 2019... Only thing I did was stuck my foot under there and the door opened right on up. And it tells you right here. Which is crazy. I'm guessing you gotta have the key the key in your possession, which I do. So I don't think it closed if you uh put your foot back down there again. Let's see. Oh man, that is fucking sweet, dog. Damn. You put your foot up under there, that thing just closed. You put your foot up under there, that thing open. Wow. That shit is crazy. Let's check this out. Okay, man, the interior is black. Not bad, not bad at all. Got the heat things right here. Got a little LED light up there. Sweet. And it also got tweeters back here. You see that right there? That's a tweeter. And there's one over there, too. This shit sweet as hell, man. Got tweeters in the back for your ears. Little speakers in the door, little cup holders right there. Little shit right there. You can put something right there. I don't know what you can put right there. I guess you can put whatever you choose to put right there. That little storage pocket. Pouches on the back seats in the back on both sides. That little thing right here. I'm I'm a little excited that they starting to put this in all the cars right here. Let me break it down here and show you. That right there. I like it, man. That little space right here, too. This thing is dope, man. Like, I don't know, man. I like it, man. You know. It's not a bad SUV, man. Ford done did the damn thing. Like, for real. Ford done did the damn thing. Eco boost motor look like in a fucking SUV in a Ford Edge. You know. So, let me turn this up. Y'all ready for this? Uh. <laughs> look at that shit right there, man. Now, I was told, man, in these newer model cars that they don't come with spark plugs like that in most newer model cars. They come with these things right here, like these coil pack things. Then I watched a video saying that in the future, they going, this line shit, these wires that connect to all this shit going to be gone in the future one day. So, you know, I don't know how it's going to work out, man. But maybe they already doing it on these, you know, outstanding Lexuses and uh, super sports cars and all that stuff. 
Only thing that really kind of pissed me off though is where they set the battery. They set the battery right here and then in the back. So if you want to change your battery, man, it's going to be fucking irritating because the battery for the negative post to take that off is in the back. Now I see that the thing is on right there at the top. You take that off and then you loosen it up, pull it up. Yeah, that's cool. And then the crazy part is that it got a fucking sensor on it from what, I, from what it looked like. Like, how the hell a battery got a sensor connected to it now? Like, this shit is fucking crazy. And so, give me all a good look at this motor. And yes, it does not have a transmission dipstick. I repeat, it does not have a transmission dipstick. Why they stop doing that shit? I don't know. Don't get to asking me, man. Google that shit and find out. But I hate that shit, man. Well, I'm not worried about it because I don't plan on owning one of these one day. <laughs> I may rent it, but as far as owning it for myself, <laughs> but it's a nice car though it's a nice car you know i like it man it's pretty decent got the lights up here got the lights down there sweet it's pretty dope so, got the, uh, i'm guessing these the blinker lights right here let's see yep so these blinker lights right here and shit let's get inside y'all Right. So man, this thing, like I said, it's amazing, but I can't see myself driving this car before have done an outstanding job with this 2019 Ford Edge, man. Like the body style, the space, the uh, the motor. Um, you know, and then you gotta you can stick your foot under the under the truck for the door to close and to open if you got a handful of shit. You know. You got 160 on the dash, which is pretty decent. Which is, I don't even know why I got that plan. Got two USBs right in there. That's a little spot right there where you can charge your phone up. Now, I hate that shit because I see that shit and what pisses me off. I don't know. I got an old ass Android. So what pisses me off is that I sit my phone on it don't charge for shit. So maybe it's only meant for newer phones or iPhones because I'm it damn sure don't charge up an Android. You know, got a little thing right here where your sunglasses can go. All that good stuff. This is how you cut on the lights right here. Boom, boom. Little bright little LEDs. Um, cup holders right here. I'm guessing you can sit your phone right here like so. Boom. Y'all see that? Bow. Sit my phone right up in there. Got this shit right here where you can change it. Press it. Press the button if you want it in sports mode. Press it off if you don't want it in sports mode. You got this automatic thing right here where if you cut it off, you ain't got to worry about it um, cutting off when you at a stoplight, you know. So let's cut that back on, though, because some people actually like it. Some people actually think that it saves on gas. Me, personally, I think that shit just put more fucking strain on a starter. I don't like that shit. I don't like it at all. I disagree with it, but if you like it, you like it. You know, got a little space right here. The thing deep, man. Stick my whole arm down there, you know. Got this little space right here. It got two clicks on each side, so one click is for this, the other click is for the bottom. No. Thing right here, there's no smoking in Enterprise vehicles, just to let y'all know. If you do, you will lose your deposit. And if you want to know the, the rates and everything, that I cannot tell you because the rates shoot up, they shoot down. You know, here in Detroit, Michigan, in the Plymouth and Ann Arbor location, the rates sometimes go up, the rates sometimes go down. It varies, it changes. The only way I will be able to tell you right now, at this moment, unless I go in there and go on the computer and look at the rates and see how much it costs during, uh, per day and see how much the insurance is per day. Like I said, it changes. So just letting y'all guys know. So we have a touch screen here, man, where you can set everything up. You got the radio, you got the mobile app, you got the uh, four pass connection, you got the um, the general connection, you got all that. Matter of fact, yeah, yeah, that's sweet, that's sweet. I like that. So yeah, let's go software uh, license and all that good stuff. Touchscreen beep. If you want to cut that off, you cut it off. If you want to leave it on, you leave it on. Some it irritates some people. Me, you know, it don't irritate me, man. I'm all right with it. Uh, let's go back. I don't even know what that is. Uh, we're gonna talk about that some other time. If I decided to, you know, do an update with this car, uh, you got the measurement units with the miles and all that good stuff, the kilometers and all that good stuff. You got your language where you want to set it up. I'm gonna leave it right there in English because, you know, 
far as I know that only people who speak English drive this car, been, dri been, been driving this car. So we're going to go to audio, we're going to go to source. You got this, uh, you got this uh, XM radio thing where you can uh, purchase that and have that in the car. If you plan on coming to Enterprise renting this car to uh, go over the road and stuff like that, we do have that in this car. We have the Bluetooth, FM, AM, a even a dangone CD player. I'm surprised they even still exist in these cars the way all this modern technology is doing a massive upgrade. Man, I'm surprised we even still even have CDs. But, um, yeah, so, got everything right here, got the AC, got the max AC, got your uh, tune, this is how you control the radio, uh, to change the station, and this is how you change the CD right here, and this your vibe right here, this is how you cut it off, this is how you cut it back on, and then it also has, let's go back to the apps, uh, let's go back to settings, um, let's go back to climate, okay, we don't want climate, let's go to phones, got the phone and everything right there, which is good, it's great, I like it. Matter of fact, let's go home. Cut that back on, my bad. I pressed the wrong button. The wrong button. Got this right here where, you know, tell you where you're going and all that good stuff. So, yeah, man, like I said, man, they've done an outstanding job, man, on this car, man, on this SUV, man. I like it, you know. And then I noticed this right here. I don't even know what this is, man. Like, comment in the comment section below and tell me what this is, man. It feels so good. It feels good, man. Space in there, man. That's pretty nice. Got the thing right here. It's awesome, man. Sound system is amazing. So, for all those, man, who's looking forward to purchasing a car like this, just giving y'all my opinion on it, man. Just letting y'all know, you know, I'm just showing y'all things that, uh, that I like about it and, uh, just giving y'all a quick walk around about this car, man. I'm sweating in here, man. I got the heat on full blast. You know, so, you know, good luck to those who plan on purchasing a car, purchasing a, ve a vehicle like this or going to an enterprise location and ended up getting a vehicle like this. You would know that, you know, what you're getting yourself into, you know. So, you know, this is the boy show. Giving y'all one hell of a show, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man, and keep up with your boy. Your boy gonna keep up with y'all. Y'all stay blessed, stay positive, and uh, until next time, man.